Hi, welcome back to Cadible. And in this tutorial, we'll be making this uh, simple box. And uh, we'll uh, use uh, a shell feature. And uh, in this uh, particular uh, exercise, we'll use a multi thickness shell option. As you can see uh, from this drawing, that uh, uh, this side is uh, 2mm, and uh, the upper side uh, from the top uh, from the top of this box is 5mm and uh, also uh, we have used some uh, extrude boss extrude cut the basic uh, the basic 3d features but uh, this feature is uh, uh, is very important when you are dealing with some uh, uh, complex geometries and uh, the multi thickness shell option is uh, uh, is a very good uh, tool so uh, uh, let's start just go to new and go to part and click OK and now we are in SOLIDWORKS interface just uh, change uh, just changing my scene to plain white and uh, I'll start uh, the sketch from the top plane let's say go to sketch and uh, I'll create a center rectangle uh, remember we are creating from the top plane so uh, we'll make a rectangle of let's say 120 by 60 and remember we are using uh, inches I think just uh, I just cancel it because I have this uh, drawing so this dimension is 60 and uh, the other dimension is 120 and uh, just go to smart dimension again and uh, now the rectangle is constrained as you can see the sketch has turned into black and the sketch is fully defined so uh, just uh, exit and uh, just rotating my model so we can uh, use the 3d extrusion feature now i have to extrude it up to 70 mm as you can see uh, we have already created 120 by uh, 120 by 60 a rectangle and uh, now we have to extrude it to 70 mm so go to features go to extruded boss command and uh, uh, just uh, make it reverse and uh, we have to extrude it up to 70 mm and press ok so uh, the basic extrusion is done and uh, next uh, I'll apply the uh, shell feature first I'll apply the basic shell feature and then I'll apply the multi thickness uh, shell feature so the thickness is 2 mm and uh, I'll go to shell command and uh, I'll change it to 2 mm and uh, I'll choose this face and uh, press ok so uh, as you can see that uh, the thickness is uniform uh, 2 mm on each wall of this uh, container but uh, I want uh, uh, 5 mm on the top side so go to uh, shell feature again edit feature and uh, go to multi thickness uh, feature and change it to 5 mm and uh, select this face and now press ok so as you can see that uh, the uh, thickness is changed and uh, the thickness for the uh, top uh, for the top of this box is 5 mm and uh, the thickness for the other uh, three walls of this uh, box is uh, 2 mm so uh, the uh, multi thickness shell uh, option is done and uh, next I'll create uh, two uh, two circles and uh, we'll use uh, extruded cut command uh, to cut them uh, to cut them out uh, from the geometry so uh, go to sketch and uh, select a sketch and we'll select this face for creating this uh, circle just make it normal and uh, we'll create a circle of uh, 25 mm and uh, this circle is uh, halfway from this uh, uh, from this uh, from this midpoint and uh, yes uh, the 
the circle is constrained as you can see uh, the circle is half way from this uh, from this line uh, that is uh, 35 mm because this length is this extrusion length is 70 and uh, also from the midpoint of this line so uh, next we will go to features and we will go to extruded cut command and uh, here it is showing uh, so many options and uh, through all uh, through all will work for us up to next and uh, uh, here up to next uh, it is uh, only cutting uh, this wall and not this wall so we'll change it to uh, through all and press ok so uh, the basic uh, extruded cut command uh, is also done and uh, lastly I'll apply some color so go to edit uh, appearance and uh, I'll apply a color uh, a shade of uh, green I think uh, it will work for us uh, and next uh, we have to uh, confirm that our dimensions are correct or not we can use uh, this feature evaluate and uh, we can measure for example this length will be 70 mm and uh, it is showing that this length is 70 mm also uh, the thickness the thickness uh, should be 5 mm from this point to this point or from this face to this face so just select this line and this line and it is showing that uh, in fact uh, it is showing the length uh, it is showing the length of this line uh, so we can also verify that this length is 56 mm and uh, as you can see here this length is 56 mm uh, but I have to measure the the thickness of this uh, block of this top block and it is showing that the distance is 5 mm in the z direction so it confirms that uh, our uh, thickness of the top plate is 5 mm uh, also we can uh, uh, we can make uh, such dimensions in 3d uh, and uh, just go to sketch go to dimensions go to reference dimensions and uh, we can make these dimensions we can also pick this line this line and uh, this thickness this thickness is 5 mm and uh, this thickness will be let's say 2 mm so uh, also this uh, circle will be 25 so that's it for uh, today's uh, tutorial and I hope you like it and uh, if you have any questions any queries related to this or any other uh, any other uh, tutorial you can ask in the uh, comment section I have uh, 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 the link of this file is uh, provided in the uh, description which you can download from uh, GrabCat and uh, uh, thanks for watching and uh, Please subscribe to our channel for more videos, uh, thank you.